Happy. I'm projecting my voice. <laughs> Minimal vocal fry happening. I'm yelling. Anyway, so Poppy is notorious for abusing copyright strikes, so I'm not even going to try to uh, include any music clips in here. All right, so before I even start this, this is not one of the millions of videos about the drama between Titanic Sinclair and Marzoga. Where did Marzoga go? And, you know, is Poppy a robot? Like, those, there's millions of those, millions. So if you're like brand new to the internet or something and have never heard of Poppy, um, she kind of rose up to fame in like, I think it was like 2015 um, by doing these kind of like performance art type videos where it's like her in a white room and she's like doing weird stuff. She's talking to a plant, you know, and it, it, like when I saw it at first, I was like, oh, yeah, this is a little contrived, whatever, because the whole theme is like, oh, the internet's bad. Um, but yeah so she did that and then she like released a song um and i still was viewing it kind of as like performance art but uh after i learned more info now it's just like oh it's just like a clever marketing ploy that worked so poppy continued putting out um just kind of like whatever pop songs and then in 2018 she released her album am i a girl and in the album she started noticeably experimenting with darker themes and metal influences and exemplified in her song x off the album to be honest, the song is kind of a banger. It was the first time I found myself enjoying Poppy's music. In August of 2019, she released the first song off I Disagree, her new album. The song is called Concrete. I was officially on the Poppy train so far as this era. The music is described as being post-genre, which sounds really pretentious, but it's actually pretty accurate. Her new songs were a combination of genres such as industrial, metal, new metal, pop, 60s, 70s folk pop, and instrumental breaks that feel sonically similar to the Clockwork Orange soundtrack. For example, the instrumental break in Scary Mask, where she's like dancing around like a ballerina, I highly suggest checking it out. It's a great uh, song and video. But here's where it gets interesting. In the lead up to the release of I Disagree, Poppy started distancing herself from Titanic Sinclair, who was her longtime uh, creative partner and romantic partner. Um, and there was always this kind of theme around them that Titanic Sinclair was like controlling her and like he, she was like his puppet. Um, and that also kind of lined up with um, abuse claims that Titanic Sinclair's ex Mars Argo had made about him. So this played perfectly into the narrative of Poppy breaking free from Titanic's grip and the polished pop persona he had forced her into. She was finally free to be the true Poppy and make music more authentic to her as a person. I initially figured that Titanic was an active participant in this narrative, given that he definitely played up um, the whole like being the villain, like the mastermind behind Poppy. Uh, he definitely seemed comfortable in that role, playing it up. It was like, you know, part of the whole appeal. Um, so on I Disagree, he has writing credits on most of the songs and directed her videos, uh, which are awesome and perfectly suited to the music. I'm not crazy about Titanic Sinclair's work or persona in general, but I feel like his contributions to the I Disagree era were absolutely brilliant. On December 28th of 2019, just a couple weeks before I Disagree was scheduled to be released, Poppy made a statement concerning her parting ways with Titanic. It's a long statement, so I'm not going to read the whole thing, so feel free to pause the video if you'd like to read the full statement. But in it, she implies that she was trapped in a toxic situation with Titanic and that he had manipulated her and was threatening to kill himself as a, quote, grab for attention. She also referenced the lawsuit that Titanic's ex Mars Argo had made um, a couple years prior. And during that time period, this was Poppy's response. She's quoted as saying, it's shameful that Mrs. Sheets, Mars Argo, would try to exploit another female artist in this way of personal gain out of nothing more than bitterness and a desperate grab for fame. So it's tad hypocritical that now she's claiming that Titanic had manipulated her into acting like that, you know, and now she's like on Mars Argo's side and they're like both like empowered survivors of evil Titanic Sinclair. So that would be the most like charitable interpretation of the situation is that you know, strong woman Poppy finally like escaped from this toxic situation where any bad thing that she's ever done or said was because Titanic made her do it. 
Um, and now she's just free to be her empowered self and total like ally to Mars Argo and like a total feminist. Then there's the more sinister interpretation of the whole situation, which would be that Poppy herself was just as manipulative, opportunistic, and self-serving as Titanic, and her whole empowered survivor spiel is a calculated publicity stunt to promote her new album. So I'm sure the reality of the situation is much more nuanced than that, but I'm more inclined to have a more sinister interpretation of Poppy now, and let me tell you why. So, first off, whether or not Titanic Sinclair was emotionally abusive or unstable does not make it okay to make such disgusting, fucked up claims as, like, he was acting suicidal for attention. Like, are you kidding? And secondly, she takes no ownership of her behavior during the Mars Argo lawsuit, and she's absolved herself of any responsibility by claiming that she was just brainwashed by Titanic. Thirdly, she's diminished his creative contributions to the Poppy Project, and especially to I Disagree. Um, I like went to go check uh, the Concrete video to see where his name would be listed as the director, because I knew he directed it, and I saw she'd removed his fucking name. That's fucked up. And also, Poppy has a fucking history of using feminist language to shield herself from negative criticism, and she's even used it to bully other female artists. Eh, uh, so it's not looking good. Not looking good. In 2018, um, Grimes and Poppy collaborated on the song Play Slash Destroy, which is really good, um, but they had a falling out um, during the promotion of it. In an interview with Billboard, Poppy claimed that Grimes and her team intentionally delayed the release of the song and that Poppy was, quote, bullied into submission by Grimes and her team of self-proclaimed feminists. Um, when in actuality, uh, Grimes was probably distancing herself from Poppy during that time period because the Mars Argo lawsuit was still active and, you know, Grimes probably didn't want to be associated with that. Another um, factor that influenced me in questioning Poppy's motives and kind of seeing, like, Titanic side of it, because he was just, like, straight up vilified, like, you know, it, and it was just, I don't know, went down, like, a little too simple, but now I'm seeing this pattern of behavior with her, you know, um, and the biggest thing that changed my mind on the Poppy situation, because initially I kind of bought into it as like, oh, triumphant Poppy, you know, she escaped Titanic, la di da, like, fuck him, he's bad. Um, and it's like, they're both, they're both troubled. See, this is the thing, like, two people in a relationship can be troubled, but when you say that the male is like emotionally abusive or something, it always seems to carry a lot more weight than when you say a woman was doing it. Um, and I've seen it play out a million times in relationships where it's two really sick people together doing sick stuff, you know? And it's not good, but it's not fair just to, like, exemplify Poppy from it because she's, like, a woman. She's, like, a petite woman, you know? She had this, like, innocent image. But anyway, the big thing that, like, changed my mind was watching Edwin's Generation video where he interviews Titanic Sinclair's brother. And it's really interesting because you're hearing like the real human, like the impact it's had on his family, like the way Poppy is using this tragedy of like Titanic being suicidal as like a publicity thing. And he, he drops a lot of like bombs in there that really contradict like the Poppy persona. He said she's basically like a Trump supporter. She said that um, the Kavanaugh victims were just looking for attention and like, a bunch of fucking crazy shit um but and you know it's like oh the brother's gonna be biased towards titanic but the thing is the brother was actually ostracized from titanic for a long time and had no issue pointing out Titan titanic's flaws like in the interview um so he seems uh, it seems pretty believable and level-headed um so this was literally this was like the last row where it's like fuck poppy is not who I thought she was um but you know what you got to separate the art from the artist um I think it's awful what she did to Titanic and his family putting them through that but um that being said it's a really good album it's a good album you know sometimes good things come out of bad situations and yeah <laughs>